Hey everybody, Vector66 with Clean Panels. I just wanted to give you a quick and dirty for the version 4 update. Do yourself a favor, go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't. We actually will be giving away two copies at the end of the month. All right, first off, I want to start out with, if you hit Show Advanced Options, we now have custom icons. Add your PNG files in there. You can have your own icons. All right, next on here, uh, a lot of people had asked if you go to Experimental Features, you can hide the holder tab, the dump tab, the miscellaneous tab. Uh, get that out of the way if you want. We have the enable, disable add-ons option here, which is kind of cool. You can see all your add-ons right here. Boom. You can also click the I and edit the configuration description right here. Um, and you can actually just change that. Some people were asking about that. You could change the description for your add-ons. Okay. Um, as you come down now with focus panel categories, um, you can actually have it have a category within it, which means it, it'll um, give a header. And you can also categorize via your categories up here. So right now, if you click it, I can see everything. You can see that I had the one category for lighting. It basically will put it out there. It'll give it a header and show that. Uh, if you come back in and we do only show unfiltered. So that's kind of cool. So we do that and it'll only show what I have filtered up here in the categories. A lot of people had asked about that since they have a lot of different add-ons. Okay. Another thing we have also is per workspaces. It's kind of neat here. So let's say I'm always on the layout and I always want to do my landscape ones. I can leave them on and they'll always be here. And let's say I go to the um, sculpting one, okay? And inside here, I want to have just whatever this materials one I had picked, okay? So if you go back, I got to go hit the option, I apologize, in here. There we go, use filtering per workspace. So let's click that. Sorry about the option. So what you'll notice is if I go to sculpting and I only want my materials and I go back to layout, it automatically changes. So that's actually really cool if people have a lot of different add-ons they use for sculpting or if they use for shading, things like that, it'll automatically change. Um, that's, that's a pretty neat feature we have going on. All right, guys, thank you so much. Please, again, remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, if you have liked our tool and uh, we're willing to leave a uh, review or if anything we can help you with, hop in our Discord so we can help you out. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.